with him. A nice job there with the deception of the speed sweep to Towson to the wide side of the field. Third and a yard for Delaware in motion. Towson snap goes to Keo. He gives it to Knight. You're not stopping One Knight for just a yard. That's an easy first down for the heads as he gets to the 543 remaining in the first half. Delaware gonna find have to find a way to move the football on offense on this drive. And they've got to find a way to protect Pat Kehoe. Pat, if he has time, is going to have an opportunity to get somebody open down the field. Now, I know Amachi's out, but Miller's come on. And of course, uh, Pitts has got to be employed here in the offense. Uh, Heslop has done a nice job of traveling with him and playing man-to-man -man press coverage. But we've got to find a way to get Pitts free and then continue to work the duo of Lee and Will Knight and try to pound them. The time of possession now heavily in Stony Brook's favor. Line drive kick bounces and dies at the 20. It's bobbled, picked up by Lee at the 17. He gets to the 25 yard line, hit hard. And they'll mark it at the 24. It'll be Delaware football at their own 24 yard line. 110 total yards of offense for Delaware, 64 on the ground compared to 191 on the ground for Stony Brook. 46 through the air, five through the air for Stony Brook. But the Hens for the first time today come out trailing on all. Will Knight, the running back, to start this drive. Knight, five carries, 34 yards. Will Knight up over 100 carries on the season. Team's leading runner at over 700 coming in. Knight. Finds an opening, makes a man miss at the 35, up to the 39 he goes. He is so hard to bring down is Will Knight. And a first down for Delaware. He is about as fun as anybody I've seen run that football for third down and nine. And Dejon Lee remains the running back on this opening drive for Delaware. Two plays in a yard thus far. Tie score at 10, first drive of the third quarter. Keo sends Coleman in motion from right to left. The senior quarterback, pressure coming, steps up in the pocket, down he goes. Stony Brook's third tackle for loss of the game makes it fourth down for Delaware. Well, they like to blitz. They like to blitz in passing downs. That time they brought a six-man pressure. Augie Contressa coming in from his outside linebacker position. And see, so a nice job by Delaware defensively, but that won't make a difference if Delaware keeps moving like they are on offense. Trips to the left side for Keogh. Now second down and 18 with Knight. As the running back, Keo turning to his left, swings it tonight. Knight catches a little bit of room to run. Augie Contressa is there. You don't get past Augie Contressa much. He is a short tackler, the junior from Quebec High School, and 71 tackles leads the team. He gets another there. He operates in the open field extremely well. Good balance, really good feel for his leverage play. And he's also been inserted several times in some blitz situations, and he's very agile and can make the rim run if he needs to. Third down and 15 from the 15 of Delaware. Nine, two wide receivers to both sides for Pat Keogh. Pressure being shown on the left side. Keogh moves up to talk to his lineman. Three on the play clock. It's a two at one. Keogh gets a snap. He's hit as he throws to Townsend, who dropped the football and was hit hard by Gavin Heslop. Augie Contressa is the one who was coming for Pat Keogh, released the football in time, and then Townsend, I think, might have heard some footsteps with Gavin Headslot closing in. After they show blitz in the middle, they bail those two linebackers out, and then Contressa comes off the edge to apply the pressure, and I think you're right. Townsend, who is a good route runner and usually sure-handed, might have just peaked at that with the safety coming downhill on him. So a big decision here for Jared a big factor here this afternoon and Andrew Pawlowski has done a heck of a job all season on the punt coverage came up with the football Delaware catching a break and has the football after the punt lead to the 45 yard line of Stony Brook could trust another tackle and instead of it being Stony Brook football with good field position it's Delaware's rock as Pritchard sent that one back. After the timeout, 2.46 remaining. Here's Townsend in motion. He'll turn and give to Knight. Knight running hard. Jukes one man, stays on his feet, stumbles ahead for first down yardage, Will Knight. The threat of the fake of Townsend to the wide side of the field off the Sonics lead sweep left to right. 
allows the defense to or to <coughs> compensate for that. Will Knight back against the grain into the boundary. Trying to hold Delaware. Third down and seven. Ends up 17 to 10. It'll be Kehoe keeping it going nowhere. Losing a yard, Augie Contrasso with a tackle for loss as 11th of the season. The ninth tackle for loss of the game for Stony Brook. Two above their season average, which is 25th best in the country. It'll send Nick Pritchard to punt out of his own end zone. They show basically double A, two linebackers with a nose tackle. They bail those out, and then Contressa comes in from the left side to apply pressure. Nowhere for Pat to run. Pritchard out of his own end zone on 